For Charlie McLean, the death of her son Kyrie meant she lost the most important thing in her world. Today, the two teenagers who murdered him were given life sentences. In a statement read out on her behalf outside of court, she simply asked, why? I now ask myself, what has this achieved? What has my son died for? Nobody has won in this situation. I've lost a child and other parents have lost two children who have been, who committed this offence and are now in prison. This violence has to stop. 15-year-old Jaquil Pusey was sentenced to a minimum of 17 years in prison. 17-year-old Giovanni Harriet sentenced to a minimum of 18 years. The court heard how the pair lay in wait for Kyrie outside his school in black clothes and balaclavas for a pre-planned attack that saw a 30-centimeter blade plunged into his chest. Outside the gates, the ties, trinkets and tributes are reminders of how the victim was still a student. The killing of a 15-year-old in broad daylight as he walked home from school shocked his friends, family and the wider community here in Huddersfield. It's also raised questions about an increase in knife crime across West Yorkshire. AJ, who goes to the same school, says it's violence that is now commonplace. Everyone wants to carry a knife for protection around here. Like I know a lot of people do. But again, like, you know, you just got to constantly look over your shoulder. Even though I'm not involved in any, any, any of that, obviously I come here as well. But still, you, just, you don't feel safe no more. At this boxing club, they've made it their mission to address the issue. It's one close to home. Kyrie trained here briefly before he died. I've lost four children now I've dealt with in the last four years to knife crime. Um, Kyrie came here as part of the school initiative we, were put, we put on, and it breaks my heart. For a mother, this loss has left a hole that will never be filled. It's always those lives that have been devastated that bring the cruelty of knife crime into focus. Shingi Marike, Sky News, Leeds Crown Court.